Now what's up, Pancho? Stab you, and we're gonna come straight back over this way. We're gonna go and stab you, Jeff. Jeff's down. And then who have we got? We got someone else over here in a locker. Ha ha! <laughs> oh my god! Hello everyone, Panda here, and it is time for the new killer reveal. Chapter 10 is here on the PTB. If you want to find out how to join the PTB, check my last video uh, with instructions on how to do that. Only on PC. I'm sorry about you console people. Uh, and let's let's go. Let's find out what it's going to be. I did this last time. Complete surprise. And I loved it. So we're going to see what we're going to have here. Uh, we're going to go through. We're going to spend blood points on the new killer. Level him up. Test out the abilities. Take him into some matches. Try the Mori. We're going to do all, all of the things. Bam, new content, PTB, save game and progress. People of the fog, blah, 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 blah. Okay, deep wound, dev message, deep wound, new stats effect, deep, All right, let's not read that. Let's not read that. Let's just go and have a look straight away at what the killer is. I'm so excited, holy crap. Okay, and I do have my million blood points so I can spend all of them. No little Miss Hag, no. Piss off, we don't want anything to do with you, we want the Legion. Difficulty, intermediate, a band of merciless killers able to rush down hempless survivors with their power, feral frenzy, attacks made during their frenzy inflict lingering internal damage, downing any survivors that are not quick enough to react. What? Their perks, uh, discordance, a mad grit and iron maiden, give them the ability to locate their prey and attack savagely while transporting survivors to the hook. What? What, what, what? Look at this. Does he have clothes? Oh, we've got glowy winter eyes. Okay, and what do we got here? We've got Julie and Frank. Oh, a multi-sex killer. Damn, let's be Julie. Hooded leather jacket, Julie. All right, and what is the, what is the power? The power. Okay, oh God. Okay, so after playing some games of Legion, I figured out how the ability works. I was a bit confused to start off with. How it works is when you go into Frenzy, you sprint, and you can also vault windows, and you can vault over pallets. If you hit an uninjured survivor while you're in the Frenzy, it will injure them and also give them the Deep Wound debuff. Now, the Deep Wound debuff is essentially like borrowed time. However, it does not tick down while you're in a chase. So this means that if the survivor escapes the chase, their life will start ticking down until they mend themselves, which is a different action to healing. So they have to mend themselves, that takes off the blue out and then they can heal themselves up to full. Now once you've hit that first survivor in your frenzy and you've applied that onto them it will refill the duration of your frenzy attack and it will also show you the locations of any survivors around the map who do not already have the bleed out on them and it will show up as this little weird hexagon icon. By using this and chaining this you could attack all four survivors and put them all into the injured state in quick succession one after the other and also put them all into the bleed out state as well. However keep in mind that subsequent attacks in frenzy mode on someone who is already bleeding out is only going to reduce their bleed out timer it is not actually going to put them down onto the ground into the dying state if a survivor escapes the chase from the killer but it has the bleed out effect and they do not mend themselves their health will tip down to the bottom and they will eventually go into the dying state and also if a survivor goes into the dying state from the bleed out effect the killer is alerted to their position for a number of seconds so the play style in my mind is that you want to find a survivor or find a group of survivors go into frenzy attack one try and chain that attack attack a second attack a third attack a fourth if possible and then you want to just hunt them down in your normal form ideally because if you go after them in frenzy and you hit them again then you're going to just fatigue yourself and you're actually not going to knock them down to the ground anyway let's go and try this out in some games and actually have a good time with it Okay, so our first Legion perk here is Mad Grit. While carrying a survivor, you suffer no cooldown for missed attacks. Amazing. So pair this with Agitation, you're just laughing. And successfully hitting another survivor will pause the carried survivor's wiggle for four seconds. Oh my god, body blocking just got absolutely shit on. Uh, we have Iron Maiden. You open lockers 50% faster. Survivors who exit lockers suffer from the exposed status effect for 15 seconds. And their location is revealed for four seconds? Oh my god, Dwight's look out. So, anyone who hides in the locker and comes out gets revealed to you and you can instantly knock them down for 15 seconds. God, that's insane. Dwight's are gonna hate this. And the third perk is a discordance. Anytime two survivors or more are working on the same generator, the generator's aura is highlighted in yellow for 12 seconds? What the fuck? All three of these perks are actually awesome. Okay, I think I like that. I think I like that quite a lot. Wow. Anyway, let's get on and try out the Mori. Let's see the Mori straight away. Let's just do it. Let's just go right now. I'm going to do it on my girlfriend as well. Holy shit. I didn't even look. Jeff Johansson. Dude, 
We've got a nice beard, a plump survivor. I like it. All right, let's go. Let's go do this. Oh, ho, 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 Jeff. You're in some trouble, Jeff. You're in some trouble. Jeff? There he is. There he is. Look at him. Look at him. Stop moving for a second, Jeff. What have you got there? Very nice. All right, let's try this out. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What is going on here? What the fuck is actually going on? Okay, well, Jeff is down. I'm sorry, Jeff. Let's end him. Let's end him. Okay, right. Let's see how we can rate this. And murder. Oh, in the arm. Oh, in the foot. In the heart. Oh, and she like guts him. Rest in peace, Jeff. Rest in peace. <laughs> okay, interesting. Very interesting. So I wonder what the different masks are all about. Okay, Legion take, I don't know, five or something. We've not been having any success at all. But you know what? I'm starting to sort of figure out the ability a little bit and get a little bit more used to it. Hopefully I can get some good usage out of it this time and we can not fall on our asses. I've also brought in Monitor and Abuse because it seems like Legion's Terror Radius is reduced a little bit from the default that uh, using Monitor and Abuse is going to make it powerful. And let's see, we're going to go in for the stab on the Badger. Then we're going to stab you. And then from here, we see there's someone over, two people over here with it. So let's see if we can get all the way over here in time. And damn it, I wanted to expose every single one of these people using this uh, ability. That's kind of what I want here. Let's see if we can get it onto Nia though. Nia, I'm coming Nia. I'm coming. Damn it, dude. Just, it seems to just last the perfect amount of time to fuck you over a little bit. Okay, they broke my totem and Badger is down. Badger is down and we can see exactly where they are. So I guess we could just go over here and try and find Badger. Where have you gone? Where have you gone? They've gone this way. Right, Badger's down over here somewhere. There she is. There she is. All right. Oh, and we've got Nia right here. Can I catch her? All right, there's one stab. And then we kind of want to go out of the mode, ideally, and then chase it down and get the second stab just naturally. Did I hear them healing there? I think I did hear them healing. Come here, Nia. Oh, she's got bounce landing. All right. Well, I kind of want to close the gap. You there. Do it again. Do it again, Legion. All right, you're an idiot. You're an idiot, Legion. Honestly, what sort of killer are you? Do better. All right, Badger is back up. I should have just hooked her up. That would have been the smart thing to do there. Uh, Daddle Panda still in the chase. So really, you don't want to apply. Oh, shit. Jake. Jake. Come here. Can I get the stab on him, please? Oh, we did get the stab. Okay, beautiful. And now we can go in and try and finish it off. This person's actually about to fall down on their own accord. Okay, Daddle Panda. Right, let's get our first hook of the game. Come here, little friend. And then... Oh, we can see the survivors working on that generator over there. Perfect. Two survivors, nonetheless. Right, and let's begin the chase. Hello there. Right, that's one. And we can see the second survivor over here. Let's go in and see if we can stab this person. Oh! God damn it. God damn it. That was actually pretty close. What? <laughs> what? Can someone tell me how that did not connect there? Absolutely unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Right, so. There was a survivor over here. And I'm getting stuck on stuff. And it appears they've gone elsewhere. Okay. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's begin the chase. And I don't know why I'm actually going to stab this guy here. But we're going to do it. And I'm going to do it again just for the fucking fun of it. Just to reduce the timer a little bit. And he runs into a wall. That's very unfortunate for you, mister. Okay, 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 okay. Right, we need to really do some big dick shit here. And I really just want to use my ability to close the gap, but it's not what you want to do. Maybe it is. Let's try it out. Give him a stab. And then we come straight out of frenzy. But he is now essentially going to go into his death thing once I break the chase. Maybe? Maybe? Senzo Doc! Alright, down you go on the floor. Down you go on the floor. 
Okay, I'm actually very confused about the ability, but you know what? That's kind of good. You know, it gives us a chance to actually get to grips with it, and it's not just a basic killer. It's a killer that's actually got a little bit of complexity to it. So, I see no one with barbecue, which is a little bit disappointing. Oh, there we go. There's a Nia. Hello there, Nia. Jump through the window, dum-dum. Okay, and then I want to... Fuck it, we'll do it a second time. Do it a second time just to get the timer down, I guess, and then... We continue the chase. If they do escape from us, though, then they're going to be put into the need to actually mend themselves. Where the fuck? There she is. There she is. There she is. All right, wait for our stuff to build up. Vault this. Stab her again. And we're still... I can't see shit. There we go. Down you go. Down you go. Such a weird ability. I guess being able to chain it onto multiple people is nice. And it gives them an extra objective. They've got to sit there and heal themselves or else they're going to go down. But doesn't seem to really be working out for me too well. Right, two people working on this generator here. Let's get sprinting. I'm coming, survivors. Jakey boy. Okay, that's one. That's two. And that is three. We've got all three people. Oh, my God. All three people. Jake, Jeff. Oh, my God. The delay on that, was that an increased delay because of how many people I'd hit? I don't know, but everyone now has the wound stats effect on them, apart from Daniel Hanu who's just been saved. So, they're all going to need to heal themselves. I really feel like Nurse's Calling actually might have been the absolute play to make here. Friends, where are you? Let's come out of it and give this a little bit of a kick. And they've all cleared their men's stats already. Shit, that was super fast. Oh, hello there. Ha ha! God, I love being able to vault pallets as a freaking killer. Right now we can see where everyone else is. God, it's a very fast paced killer though, I've got to say. What? You got all the way over there? Oh no, it's same Nia. Nia, it's time for the hook for you. Okay, very interesting. All right, well, I think that maybe Nia's dead now, right? That would be a treat. They've done two generators. We're definitely doing better on this map. The scratch marks are very, very hard to see on the other map. All right, we have one dead near, and we have a survivor over here. All right, let's come out of this and save it. Oh, it starts all the way back at the beginning. All right, so you do not want to try and save your frenzy. You just want to always use all of your frenzy by the looks of it. Where have you gone to, my little friend? There was a Jeff here. There was a Jeff. There's a Jake. Hello, Jake. All right, and now we can see where everyone else is. We've got one person up there. This will be the second attack. Just to chain it, get him halfway done, and now continue the chase. I guess it's kind of working well. I guess it is working well indeed. Although the scratch marks, they've really fucked him up in this patch. Jakey boy! There we go, and I believe we could just let him bleed out at this point. Once the chase breaks, he should be, should be dying. Come on, break the chase, break the chase. There we go. He's bleeding out, he's bleeding out, he's bleeding out, and he's stopped it. He stopped the bleeding. I wonder where he could be. There he goes, and we're back in the chase, for God's sakes. Back in the chase, and there we go, he's down on the ground. Okay, Legion comes for you, Marshal, although if you've got D-Strike, I'm gonna absolutely shit my pants in rage. Don't do it, friend, don't do it. Don't strike the poor killer. Killers just want to have fun. Yeah. All right, nice. We did not get decisive strike. Although I feel like he saved it for later on. And yeah. fucking hell, stop doing the generators, guys. All right, one person over there and one person over there. Let's go and try and take this person. Who are you? Legion's coming for you, Meg Thomas. Right, so if we just go for the normal attack. There we go. And drop it. Rawr. Damn it, but you just still can't... That's not the kill, you know? That's not the kill. I'm coming, Badger. I'm coming with my big stabby sword thing. Okay, nice. Okay, right, let's give this a kick. And we can see there's two people over there. I think, actually, the ability... The useful thing about the ability is that it tells you where the other survivors are when you injure someone and put them into the bleeding state. That, I think, is far more important than actually... what the ability is doing. Just the utility that it provides. Hello? Is there someone back here? One attack. 
to attack. And then ideally come out of it, stun ourselves for a second. We've injured two people straight off the bat, chain attacked. And now we can just go and... Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so I really, at this point, want to use my ability to catch up with him. But it doesn't make too much sense. It doesn't make too much sense at all. Oh my god. Jake, you could have fucked me there, dude. You completely had it. You had it. All right, let's get him hooked up. Is he going to de-strike this time? Did he save it? He did not save it. He must have missed it. How embarrassing. How very embarrassing. Yeah. Okay, right. We're going for the four kill here. Can we find out where they are? No. Apparently we cannot. But they're both injured. Survivors. Where are you? I feel like they've made the generator solid as well. The aura solid, so you can't actually see people hiding behind generators. That's probably a good call. That's probably a good change to the game. Um, but a little bit annoying from my point of view. And they did the last generator. Okay, right, here we go. Here's where we've got to really turn it around here and make it work in my favor. So let's see, if I was a survivor over here and you finish that generator, where would you go? Where would you go? And you're injured at the same time. Shit, they saved the person. All right, we're going to have to sprint. We're going to have to sprint and use my frenzy, which kind of sucks. But we've got to do it because otherwise they're going to get the gate open. Charge, Legion, charge. Are we going to be able to get a game with more than one kill? That is the question on everyone's lips. Hello? Jeff? How do you do, Jeff? Okay, we got one hit on him. Two hits on him. And we can see the other auras of the people over here. Shit, are they actually going to get the other gate? They're going to get the other gate, aren't they? No! Jeff! We got Jeff. We got Jeff. All right, let's just get these people out here. Get out of the game. Get out of the game. All right. Come here, Jeff. No, you're not getting to escape, Senzu Duck. You do not get to escape. You're going on the hook. So apparently I'm just bad with this killer and I need to get better. Damn, I wish I had Blood Warden on right now. That would be fun. And then we've got a little badger person hiding over here. Yeah! Nice. Stab! 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 I like this. I don't know what this is all about, but I like stabbing a bunch. This is fucking weird. Okay. Well, we managed to get two kills as Legion. And you know what? I actually feel like I did pretty okay there. Very, very strange. GG. The snow map, the scratch marks are incredibly hard to see. That is kind of what fucked me over there. Okay, so we're going to try another game here. And I'm going to try the combination of... I just put on Blood Warden. But I'm going to try the combination of... Agitation and Mad Grit. So we move faster while carrying someone. And when we hit someone while carrying someone, we don't get a penalty. There's no cooldown. So we can attack them and then attack again afterwards, apparently. Uh, and it also pauses the survivor's wiggle. We're going to have to see if we can make that happen. That's going to be really quite interesting. Okay, right. Right, we're getting better and better as we go. As the more practice is coming, as the more, you know, abilities are sort of making sense to me, we're doing better. So let's see if we can get a four kill. I want to kill these four people. Now, honestly, killing these four people... Usually, I would say that's impressive because they're all good players. Uh, killing them all with a brand new killer would be an absolute miracle. So I don't know if that's going to happen. Survivors, where are you? Legion beckons. Okay, can't see anyone. Nice. But once we do find them, eventually, oh, they're all the way over there. Once we do find someone, we can hopefully try and stack up our bleed out on all of the players at once. And then... Try and finish someone off. And there we go. We've got a survivor there. We've got a survivor right here. Jeff! Jeff! Come to me, Jeff! Right, one hit. We can see that someone else is right here. Hello there, Nia. And then from here, we can see that... Ooh, I don't know, but we can get another stab on Jeff. And then we're out of it. We're into fatigue. We've injured two people. That's actually kind of fucking nice. I like that. And let's kick this. All right, Mr. Jeff. You are who I am coming for now. So I guess we could do another chain attack. Oh, I guess we could jump through this. Ooh, there we go. All right, so Senzu is nearly dead just from the bleed out, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but we'd have to actually break the chase for him to get that full bleed out. But you know what? I can just stab him again like this. There we go. Finally, he's down. So it takes four stabs as the killer, as Legion, 
in frenzy mode to actually knock someone down, which I think is actually a lot. That's like a, that's a hell of a lot, uh, which I don't know if I enjoy too much. Let's see if we can find someone here. Oh, oh, wait, we did suffer a cooldown. We did suffer a cooldown from hitting someone with mad grit. That did not work like I was told it was going to work. Huh. Okay, all right, well, interesting. Maybe I've read the perk wrong. Maybe I've read it incorrectly. Uh, or maybe it's just not working. I said don't suffer a cooldown. Ah, well. All right, where are the other players? I see no one. All right, let's begin the stalk. Begin the chase. Hunting around the map. Oh, Badger's already been saved. All right, that's not good. But at least they've done zero generators, so we have got a little bit of control of, over the game. Oh, and they're doing the gen upstairs. All right, let's go up there and give that a big old kick. Is there someone working on it? Oh, hello, Nia. There we go. And, oh, a second stab for you. And we can see there's another player right down here that I want to attack right now. Where are you? Where are you? They... Oh. I hear you, Nia. I hear you! Damn, down you go. Okay, well, I guess that's kind of nice. Break this and get you hooked up. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh, shit, what up, Jake? Yeah, there is a huge cooldown there. Let's just hook him up. Hook him up. And let's go after Marshall here. Come here, my friends. Let's get you bleeding out, my friend. All right, that sucks. That sucks. You need to really have the meter at complete full if you want to do anything here. Damn it. Damn it, little buggers. All right, they've done one generator. Good job, my friends. Good job. I'm proud of you. Now, do I chase him here and bleed him out? I guess I need to just to close the gap. Come to me, Jake. Am I going to be able to hit you? Yes, we did. We got the hit onto him. I guess that's kind of cool, right? No, you don't get to leave this place. Okay, and that's a hook for Jake as well. All right, I think we're doing okay here. I think we're doing okay. If we can just keep this going, keep the momentum rolling, that's what I need to make this really work out. Okay, barbecue and chili, light the way. God damn it, barbecue is not showing me shit. Why not? Are they all hiding behind generators? This is actually really tricky. And he's been saved instantly. Good God. Good God. Right, let's go to the back of the map over here. See if there's anyone on this generator. Nope. That generator is off. <coughs> oh, hello there, Jake. How do you do, sir? Wait, isn't Jake who I was just chasing a second ago? All right, well, Jake, you're getting it again. You're getting the special treatment. The special stab treatment. And we can see from here that I can't see everyone else's auras. What? Why not? You're meant to be able to see all uninjured auras of survivors who have not got the deep wound effect on them. Okay, well, that's a little bit confusing for me. Hello, Jake. Down you go, my friend. And let's get you hooked up. All right, is he dead now? I'm not entirely sure, but we have hooked everyone. What the fuck, dude? That's insane. <laughs> okay, I like that. I like that. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. There we go. Now what's up, Badger? Stab you. And we're going to come straight back over this way. We're going to go and stab you, Jeff. Jeff's down. And then who have we got? We got someone else over here in a locker. Ha! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, that. <laughs> that was nice. That was real nice. And as we got one person over there. Let's just go. Let's just go. Oh, I'm feeling the momentum now. I'm feeling that I like it. I like it a lot. Oh my god, we got another stab on Sensu Duck. Have we managed to break out in that last second and get out of his deep wound? So he obviously nearly had himself healed there. I'm coming! I'm coming, Sensu! Oh, who is it? I don't know who it is, but I'm fucking sprinting! Oh my god, it is Sensu Doc! Holy shit, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. I feel like this kill is going to be very, very strong for those people who are good, precise, and know exactly what they're doing. Holy crap. 
Holy crap. Oh, there he goes. Let the chase commence. So at this point, he's so low into his bleed out that this is going to knock him down guaranteed. Oh my fucking god. That would have knocked him down guaranteed if I hadn't have been a sausage. Okay, I think we're going to put Senzu down in the basement. Okay, this is the game that I was talking about. And look at this. Do we actually move faster like this? <laughs> okay, he's not dead. He's not dead. Two generators left. I'm actually feeling a little bit more confident about this than I was previously. Feeling like this has got a bit more power than I initially felt. All right, so we've got a survivor over here. I see you. I see you, Jake. All right, Jake is dead on the hook. I'd actually like to just get him removed from the game now. Let's go. Stab and bolt and charge and another stab. Here we go. And then we take the fatigue. Hello, Jake. Hello, Jake. Oh, my God. He's trying to jump scare me there. He's trying to peek yeah. through the window and give me a little kiss. All right, Jake yeah. is dead. Removed from the game. And we have people working on gens over there. Well, that generator's been worked on, but I really just need to work on getting these people chain knocked down. So let's try and sprint over here and jump through the window and give him a good stab. Oh, shit, man. It didn't even last that long. All right, that's a little bit underwhelming. Hello there. How do you do? How do you do? I should really be kicking generators, I think. And I saw that Meg was around here too, somewhere. Megan? In a locker? Maybe? Yeah! Damn it, damn it. Alright, let's kick this generator. And go and try and find someone else. Alright, this is- Oh, Scratches? Who goes here? Wait, Scratches over there? You've gotta be kidding me! One hit! Two hits! And... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I should have continued the chase here. All right, we're going after Jeff. We're going after Jeff. I just love that they called the new survivor Jeff. That's fucking hilarious. Let all the Jeff memes run free. Is your name Jeff? Is it? Senzu Duck? And... Stop. Okay, I should really not be using the frenzy to catch people up because this fatigue afterwards is actually a little bit painful. Okay, we're just going to do it the regular way. Let's just do it the normal chase way. I've got to hit him two more times if I actually want to put him into the dying state from this. Maybe one at this point, though. There we go. There we go. All right, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, we're getting there, everyone. We're getting there. Slowly, the killer is unfolding to me and his abilities are making more sense. Up you go, Senzu Dot. Okay, he's dead. All right, now we have two survivors in the match. Can we eliminate them both? That's what I'm after here. That's what I'm after. And I think we're going to come at it from this angle here. And then Frenzy. And we're on the hunt of a Meg Thomas. We're on the hunt of a Meg Thomas here. Ah, we didn't get it. We didn't get it. All right, let's just go in for the normal, regular style stabs then. If we just play this killer as a mouse one killer... Oh, wow, I feel like um, save the best for last would be awesome here. Badger! Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it. I think we're going to need to expose here. Fuck! Okay, chase. Chase, 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 chase. And she's bamboozled me. What a monster. This badger lady is just a highly skilled survivor. Badger... Badger! Shit, I've lost her. I lost her. I'm in the chase, though. How? I don't know where the hell she is. Fuck. Fuck! Oh, they did the last generator. Okay, Daddle Panda. Thinking you could do my generators and get away with it? No, no, no. No, no, no. Let's chase you. If I knew where the hell he had gone. In the lockers. Please be in this locker. Oh, shit. Life sucks. Life sucks. Life sucks. All right. He's going to have gone for this exit gate over here, I think. Sprint. I want... Mm, I want kills. I want four kills. Don't do me like this. Right. We do have Blood Warden. So, honestly, if I can get... Don't do it. Don't be opening the gate. No! No! Badger, you son of a bitch. Come here. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. 
damn it, damn it, damn it. And now this is why I was gonna open this up over here. Man, I should've just stayed, oh! Okay, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. I wanna see if I can grab you in the thing. Oh man, I wanna see if I can grab in Frenzy for. Wait, 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 wait. Go, go, come on, come on, go for it. Take the hatch. Take the hatch, take the hatch, take the hatch. Take the hatch! No, you can't do it. You can't grab them while you're in frenzy mode. Okay. Okay, well. That was more fun. That was a lot more fun. Give me a GG. Oh, wow, I'm sweating after that, though. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, well, there we have it, everyone. There is the new killer reveal, the Legion. Honestly, very, very interesting killer. I feel like this is the sort of killer that over time you're gonna figure out how it works and it's gonna become very strong. It's not just a killer you pick up and instantly go, hey, I just hit people like this and it's fun. Quite confusing, but I feel like towards the end there, I was actually getting a better idea of how it all works and how to chain the attacks and how to also track other survivors. If you've enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Plenty of Dead by Daylight content coming every single week here and over on Twitch. Many videos. We also have a Wednesday show here called Shrine Watch, which is where we go and we check out the four new perks the day they come out on the Shrine of Secrets and then explain them, rate them, and then sort of take them into some matches and actually see how they work out. Hope you all have a lovely day. Good luck and have fun out there. Panda out. Thank you.